Uh, hi everyone. So uh, today I'm talking about a tool called Open Define. So can I know how many of you have used this tool before? Can you raise your hands if you have used this tool before? Yeah. So yeah. So I'm a member of a the community called Open Data Kerala community. Like it's a community of call or uh, different uh, projects like Wikipedia projects. We involved in the OpenStreetMap. So I'm a Wikidata admin. So. So on the t uh, talk, me uh, mainly uh, focusing on the topics like covering topics. What is the Open Refine tool? How the Open Refine tool can be used for different projects like uh, for the cleaning up the data and contributing to different open data initiatives. How to uh, how the tool works? What are the features on the tool? So, yeah. Actually, the tool Open Define is a tool that was developed by a Freebase Gridwalls in 2006. So it's like a tool that was uh, acquired by the Google later. So they renamed the tool as a Google Define. So the tool was basically uh, developed for contributing to the platform called Freebase. So it is like a collection of structured data information. So it right now, it is uh, the tool is uh, maintained by the community. It's like they, uh, if you some, if you are using some tools like, uh, which are not get, uh, they getting some updates, you don't need to. The tool gets. Okay. The tool gets regular updates like uh, every month. You'll get uh, regular updates if you are uh, having some bugs using the tools. You can report the bugs on the Open Refine platform on the GitHub, or there is a community portal, or there is a Telegram group. You can chat on the people who is using the tool. So the tool can be uh, used for importing if you have some information in the CSV format or test format, or you are using some spreadsheet. You have the information or data or. You can import those data use, uh, to the Open Refine tool, and you can use that information. You can clean up those information. You can use some uh, platforms like Wikibase. You can connect with Wikibase uh, like for reconciliation purpose, and you can clean, clean up those information. So you can also export those output or the Open Refine tool to different formats. If you are using some applications, or if you are contributing to different uh, open street op open projects you can export those information in csv format or any of the formats that like excel G json format you can export on information and you can use reuse your information after the cleaning process so so these are the main features that are uh, in the open refined tool so you can uh, use it is uh, like a advanced tool like uh, on the spreadsheet, if you are using a spreadsheet or uh, Excel or like any uh, Google Sheet, you can. Th there is some limitations on using that uh, uh, tool. There are some you can use a limited f number of features on that tool. So on the Open Define, there are X number of features. Like you can use those information. You can collect with some uh, connect with some uh, wiki base instead like Wikidata, Wikimedia Commons, and you can use those information for reconciliation. That's process that beach. Uh, we are uh, connecting with some database or knowledge base, and we can filter uh, uh, if there are some mistakes or there are some uh, little, the information is less in number, you can connect with those databases and you can uh, update those information, you can uh, reconcile those information. So it's like a, a matching with some external data source. It's if you are creating some data source, like if you are running a wiki base instance, you can also use this tool for reconciliation purpose. So like for uh, some uh, libraries, they are using some uh, information. If uh, there are some information regarding some books, or there are some information regarding some databases like songs or something, they can use those this tool for uh, reconciliation purpose, and they are matching with, with those information. And also, this tool run on your uh, web browser. You can uh, use this tool for uh, offline as well as uh, online. So if you are using this tool uh, like offline, there, uh, you cannot use uh, the reconciliation purpose. You can use, uh, if you are running like a connecting with the internet, you can use this uh, tool for reconciliation with different external data source. And this tool uh, is mainly uh, right now used for the, uh, by the community members, Wikidata community members, or Wikimedia, Wiki Commons members. Most number of uh, persons I know use this tool for connecting those information, uploading the information to the open data platform by the Wikimedia Foundation called Wikidata. So it is a project which started in 2012 on this same day, 29. So we are celebrating the birthday of the Wikidata today after the lunch. 
So just uh, what all things we can do with the open refine tools. So we can run this open refine tool uh, without an internet. So uh, you can download this uh, tool on the, your system. You can run on the Linux or any other system. You can install it a computer and uh, you can uh, work uh, open this tool. It will op open in a command window. It will first, if you open the tool, it will open in a command window. So uh, you not need to worry. Uh, you will uh, after some like coding and all, it will open in a, your browser uh, default browser. So you can use this. Uh, you can use any of the browser for uh, using this tool. So uh, this is a interface of the tool while you open the open refine. So you'll get a. Uh, Interface like you can in, uh, upload those information. You can connect from your computer any files like in a CSV or uh, test format or any Excel format or spreadsheet. Any other format you can uh, import those information and also you can import those information from uh, some APIs or website links. If you have some information uh, are there on some website, uh, you can connect those information and also you can copy paste from uh, any. Uh, any other format, you can copy paste those information. And also you can connect some information, some of the databases you can use. If you are running some database or if you are having some access to some other databases, you can connect and fetch those information directly from uh, those databases. And also you can connect with, the, if you are having some Google Sheets or uh, you are having the information uh, that has not cleaned up, you can connect those information. So it's like uh, the interface of the wiki uh, open define tool uh, while we connect some information. So it's like a, uh, a project I have done uh, contributing to the uh, wiki data uh, at the time, time of pandem uh, pandemic, the uh, COVID. Uh, from the COVID portal, I uh, added those information. If you have seen some Wikipedia articles you, uh, at the time of pandemic, you can see on the info boxes, the number of cases is regularly updated. So it was updated from the Wikidata project. So the project, the Wikidata is like, uh, you can connect those information to different languages. Right now, Wikipedia is running more than 300 languages. So if you are an article about a Kerala of any India level article, COVID related article, you can connect those information, contribute to the Wikidata project. So so once those information is connected to the uh, Wikipedia, so if uh, one uh, in the Wikidata we are updating those information, so all the languages will get the uh, updates at the same time. We not need to go to each independent language, like each language and go to, uh, initially it was like we go to uh, every language like Malayalam, English or Hindi or every languages and we update those information. It's like a uh, messy thing. So, so like uh, on the English Wikipedia, it will get updated very fast. So some uh, local languages like where the number of volunteers are very, very less in number, the updates get uh, very delayed in getting updated. So using this uh, tool, I was uh, creating the cleaning up of those information and contributing to the Wikidata project. So on the open define, you can use some filters like uh, same format in the spreadsheet. You can filter those information. Something like an advanced feature, you can filter based on some, uh, you can uh, blank cells if you are having some information like a similar thing sometimes, uh, case in, uh, some letter uh, test will be in capital letters, some letters will be small letters and have space or something. So sometimes it's like a uh, difficulty in for using some tools like cleaning up those information. So using the clustering features on the Wikidata uh, Open Refine tool, we can, uh, this one, clean up those information. Some, we can uh, having some different methods like key collision method, near sniper method, and uh, there is some key function uh, all available on this clust clustering data feature on the Open Refine. So you can match some of the similar things on this one. So. You can also transform this data like a column wise, you can transform this data like uh, cell wise. And you, you doesn't require some uh, technical knowledge for doing this thing. You, if you are doesn't have a technical knowledge coding skills also, you can use this tool. Most of the features available on this tool can be used by the people who doesn't know some technical knowledge like me. I don't use some uh, codings and all uh, using this tool. Uh, without coding, most of the things I done uh, using the tool is like without some codes. And also if you require some advanced skills like I've done filtering, that time only you require some coding skill that you can uh, easily get by searching on the internet. So it's not a big deal like getting the codes and all. It uses a JR expression uh, for uh, codes and also you can use Python scripts or you can use Jython scri uh, scripts for 
uh, transformation and filtering those information, the Wikidata. So the reconciliation process on the uh, uh, this one, Open Refine tool is like you can uh, connect with some external databases like Wikidata, Wikimedia Commons, or if you, uh, any Wikibase instance. You can match those information that information that are on that platform. You can match those information with you. So you can use this tool for matching those information, creating a new sales, or creating combining those information, and uh, you can connect those information. So on this project, I have connected those information with the Wikidata. So for fetching those information that are available on the Wikidata. So uh, once uh, on the Wikidata project, if you are a Wikipedia article, if you are, there is some articles are there on the Wikipedia, we will not create a similar uh, other article. We'll be modifying or uh, updating those information. Similar thing on the Wikidata is a structured product, uh, project of Wikimedia Foundation where we can create or update or information similar to the uh, Wikipedia, but on the Wikidata, it's, like, it's a structured format. So we can use this tool for uh, reconciliation and uh, combining those information. So, and also we can, uh, by the reconciliation pr process, we can fetch those information that are only in the Wikidata or any Wikibase instance. So if some information, some language information, some labels or names of some schools or some topics is there on the Wikidata, we can fetch those information, we can use that information and we can modify those information according to our requirement. So, um, yeah, so how I start, uh, started using this project and what all things I, uh, we can use uh, the open event tool for contributing to other open data or open knowledge platforms. So um, I use this tool mainly for contributing to Wikidata and uh, for cleaning up those information for creating the, some uh, information uh, for the open data Kerala projects. So I use this tool for cleaning up those information, creating uh, like removing the duplicates, removing uh, matching those information with the open data uh, OSM as well as the uh, this wiki data, and for creating source information. Uh, so we can connect some uh, like databases like. We have Wikidata instance on, on the, op uh, while you are installing the Open Refine tool, you will get a, automatically the Wikidata uh, instance will be connected. So if you are having some Wikibase, uh, you are creating some Wikibase, like we are creating some Wikibase for the Open Data Kerala community, we are running an instance, Wiki Cloud, uh, Wikibase instance, so we can uh, use this tool for uploading those information after reconciliation purpose, we can use this tool for uploading this information the, to the Wikibase. Uh, so here is the schematic of the Wikidata, how we can use this tool for uploading the information on the Wikidata. So it's similar to the, if you are going to the Wikipedia uh, Wikidata item, you can see the similar interface. So we can use after cleaning up, uh, up the information, you can use this tool for uploading this information on the Wikidata. Like uh, you can add a qualifiers, you can add a statements, you can add those labels if you are translating some information or labels or description. You can use this tool for adding those information. So this is interface, uh, taking a screenshot for adding those information in Hindi. So you, if you are adding some uh, translating using this tool or if you are uh, after some uh, from the spreadsheet, you are connecting those information, having those information in Hindi li labels, you can use this tool for uploading to Wikidata. So it will show us if there are some issues, like if you are adding no, adding no references, if you are some uh, information is not correct, or some uh, issues with the regs or something, it will show all those errors on this issues table. So while uh, uploading, before uploading to the Wikidata or any Wikibase instance, you can uh, cl uh, check whether the, the information you are uploading is uh, having, doesn't have any errors and or not. So, and also the right now, the, from the last year, the, uh, this Open Event supports the Wikimedia Commons project. It is like a project by Wikimedia Foundation for uploading those in, uh, media related files to uh, Wiki, uh, Wikimedia Commons. It's like a project uh, right now have more than one crore of uh, media files that are available under free license that you can use those information on your projects, personal projects, something with a Creative Commons license or CC0 license format. So on this uh, Wiki, uh, Open Define, you can use this tool for uploading those in photographs as well as adding those depicts, some structured data information to the uh, Wikimedia Commons. So the structured data is coming from the Wikidata. So, 
So we have used this uh, tool for I uh, use this tool for uh, cleaning up those information at the time of 2020 election. We have used this tool for cleaning up, up this information, and we uh, the information is connected with the OISM, and we. Uh, use this tool for uh, the one of the leading newspaper in Kerala, Malayalam. I want to use this tool for uh, this one, and also we done for the mapping activities with the combining OS and Kerala community. We have done for mapping activities. So if you want to use this tool or you c want to uh, test this tool, yeah, you can go to the GitHub page and you can download the information. So you can see a number of users using this tool right now, uh, and yeah. So if you have any questions, again, yeah, I'm here, so I can answer how you can use the tool for your project. So yeah, thank you.